Hello, welcome back to the Wrestling Newsroom. I'm your host, All Things Wrestling, and today we're going to pick another wrestling news from Thursday. We start with the TNA story. They recently held a conference call to promote TNA Slammiversary. Scott Starner was there and he had some strong words. He said, The difference between Jeff Jarrett and Dixie Carter, if you talk to anyone, uh, there's a huge difference. When people see Jeff, they know that he knows what he's doing. Clearly, everyone knew that Dixie didn't know what she was doing. She was a mark wanted to be on TV. It's day and night. People want to come to work, they're excited about what everyone is doing and it's totally di- different atmosphere <laughs> yeah that sounds like bullshit mate it seriously does it just sounds like that you're kissing Jeff Jarrett's ass, and you've got your head up his ass. please stop proud nosing mate it's a great atmosphere a totally different atmosphere everyone wants to come to work people are excited yeah I call bullshit I seriously do but we'll move on and just stay full with him for this story uh, and what changes do we should make first change they should do is get rid of Stephen McMahon and Hunter McMahon because they're two idiots who are running the whole place up there. I like feel sorry for the wrestlers nowadays. They've got to follow the instructions of these two idiots that clearly don't know what they're doing. They're not watching because of the rate because the ratings are down and the reason why is Hunter McMahon and oh and the reason why I call him Hunter McMahon is because she obviously wears the pants. Okay, Scott, let's break this down. One Vince McMahon still runs a show, not Stephanie and Triple H. Two, if you watch a Triple H show, known as NXT, it is a lot, lot better than WWE. So Triple H does know what he's doing. He can build talent, he knows what he's doing. So please, please get your facts straight first. Are we going to be having this little conversation? He will hurt me, won't he? And, uh... Speak is making wild accusations. Speaking of wild accusations, uh, he claimed that he slept with fifteen thousand women in one year. If you do the math, that would mean he slept with an average of forty-one women a day. <laughs> What's that? Oh yeah, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling bullshit on that, mate. He just sounds like a dick. Moving straight on. Uh, Dave Meltzer uh, says that talent in Lucha Underground are said to be really concerned about the promotion's future. It has been almost a full year since episodes were produced and no one has heard anything about future seasons. While there are still talks about another season being filmed at the end of the year, there are performers that are unhappy because they have been left in the dark about the show's status. Oh, worried. And speaking of Lucha Underground, Joth Matthews is claiming that producers wanted him to be the lead announcer for the show prior to Matt Stryker being brought in. He also claimed he was the best play-by-play announcer, so I don't know. Hard to tell, but if that is true, he is a pretty good announcer, I guess. Uh, And I just have a rumoured card for TakeOver Brooklyn 3. NXT title match, Drew McIntyre, Bobby Roode, we know that's going to happen. Amber Moon versus Asuka, women's title match, that would be a good match. Authors of Pain versus Sanity... Oh, sweet dog, you let that happen. Hideo Tommy versus... A Tammy. Hideo a Tammy. Sorry, not Tommy. Uh, versus Cassius Ono. That would be a good match, and that's probably going to happen. And No Way Jose versus Andreas Cien Almas. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's looking like a pretty good card. Let me know what you think of that card. Um, and there's speculation that WWE are possibly changing plans for SummerSlam WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar vs. Braun Strowman was originally planned for SummerSlam uh, with Ray, Reigns vs. Lesnar for WrestleMania. WWE play, changed the plan for SummerSlam main event. It's now expected to be Roman Reigns vs. Brock Lesnar. Meltzer noted that there's an outside chance that Joe will be in the main event at SummerSlam due to how Joe has gotten into the storyline with Lesnar. Joe was originally and might still be scheduled to lose one uh, in a one-off match to Lesnar. The belief is that Reigns facing Lesnar at SummerSlam means that WWE wants to have a Universal Champion as a regular on Raw and live events. Um, it's also been speculated that John Cena versus Roman Reigns will be at WrestleMania. Now that Cena is a free agent in storylines, and he said it is unlikely that Reigns l- losing to Lesnar at SummerSlam. And they have another match at WrestleMania. So they're saying most likely it will be a one-done deal. Uh, that's quite interesting. Uh, thank you, Dave Meltzer, for the uh, information. Hopefully he's not annoyed at me calling him a New Japan um, fanboy. 
Probably not. But yeah, that that was the news. Not much to cover today, but what are you going to do? I can only cover what's happened. But yeah, we, we heard Scott Steiner being an absolute bell end. Uh, we got a uh, possible update on storylines. Uh, the worry about Lucha Underground. And an, a rumoured car for NXT TakeOver. Uh, that weren't too bad. Now, as always, if you have enjoyed this episode, please give it a like. Please support me on Patreon. Link in the description below. Subscribe to see more content. And I'll catch you later.